Let's introduce you a Omni.com AI agent. It's an agent basically for research and it's really good for a generalistic market research about an audience, about an industry, about a market. Um, and I'm liking it more than Perplexity AI because it's going to provide you with a more comprehensive uh, report as the outcome because it works like an agent, right? So you have two kinds of behaviors in the AI solutions right now in this space. One is you tell um, the AI, like for example, ChatGPT to perform a task and it's going to scrap into their data and provide you uh, with a specific answer for your specific question, which is more or less the same that Perplexity AI is doing. Here we're going to compare this question. What are the industry trends in high-rise luxury condos in the United States? Imagine that we are marketing a virtual reality uh, solution in this industry and in this segment. Now, Perplexity AI is going to search in the web. Uh, there are some predefined web search that the, is going to perform. It's going to consider 19 resources and here's the concrete answer. Higher prices for squ uh, per square foot, focus on amenities and services, architectural design and so on. Look at the length of the answer and the depth of the answer, right? It's kind of a very concrete answer of what you want. But if you want a broader and a more in-depth work of market research, like what a human researcher would do, delivering a, a report, probably a Omni works better. Uh, at least it works better for me because here is the answer for the exact same question. It through more search results, more or less the sources considering, uh, rather than considering here, is telling us the sources that he's using that the AI is using to came up with the result or with the report, which is different from the sources considered. Here, we don't know how many sources has been considering, right? But these are the final sources. And here is the report, way, way more complete. So we have the key takeaways, the current market size, the pricing trends, what's popular in luxury markets, design trends, buyer demographics, future outlook with all the sources reference it uh, in in the claims, right? So it's a way more comprehensive, more complete, more in-depth and broader also market research in this case that Aon is going to provide to us. Another example, which is about understanding the ch top challenges in this case for a software solution. Imagine that we are researching uh, site reliability engineers because we want to sell a software solution to them. It's our target audience. We asked to perplexity. Perplexity is great to go through Reddit threads, but also is uh, Omni. Uh, that solution is also going through uh, Reddit threads. But as I said, in this case, perplexity is going to tell us the specific answer, top challenges. Here you have reliability and availability, scalability, and then an explanation of each of them, right? It expands. If we go to Omni, we have key takeaways with all of them, but then we have a detailed analysis. The job description of what a site reliability engineer does, the challenge face it in more in depth, and they are all related with the sources. That also is in Perplexity AI. Perplexity AI is going to provide you links to the sources, uh, not in this case, here, for example. So that's uh, a match in that case, but you can see the differences. Cyber reliability engineer technology concerns, so it expands more the result of the research. So when you're doing kind of a more generalistic market research, or you want to know more about your audience, you want a more in-depth result, rather than an answer for a specific question, I will go with this solution rather than Perplexity AI or ChatGPT. That being said, as I always say, it takes just one minute more to go through these tools and get more insights. And then, you know, you can you can compare them because you might find uh, slightly different answers that are providing you with different angles. Now, regarding the configuration, one thing that this tool does not have and Perplexity AI has is 
the follow-up question. So you can ask follow-up questions to Perplexity AI. It's not exactly like having a conversation with ChatGPT, but you can ask follow-ups and continue the conversation within that context. You cannot do that with uh, Omni. And is because, as I said, is different. One tool, the behavior and the focus is more on having this conversation like ChatGPT and answering concrete answers. Whereas Omni is an agent that is going to provide you with a research delivery, with a report, right? And that's it. You have the report. Then if you want more questions, you create a new research with a new question and you're going to get another report rather than an answer. So those are the two differences. Things that are also similar is that when you go to Omni and you want to configure and ask for the question, here is when you ask anything and it's going to create a report, here you have the sources. You can customize the sources. So you can add concrete PDFs just like in Perplexity AI. Perplexity AI, AI right now accepts PDFs. Um, Aonai also accepts PDFs. So you can add PDFs or you can add, for example, customer interviews with the files. You can add files. You can add a specific URLs. And then you can remove the search engine and you can customize your research report. So for example, instead of researching generalistically in the web, just like Perplexity AI does, you want to do a research with assets that you already have from customer interviews or from uh, reports, industry reports that you already have. You upload them, you provide them the URLs, uh, and then you remove the use search engine. And it's going to create a result based on the specific websites or the specific files that you are providing. That's different from Perplexity AI, which is by default going to ask into the internet, right? Well, this is what I wanted to tell you. I hope you find it useful. Uh, this is the new addition to the, to the course. And yeah, I'm using it a lot and enjoying it a lot. Thank you.